hello friends in today's video we are gonna solve two maths so here is our first math at first we uh, read the math 100 kg of wheat at a moisture content of 14 percent dry basis was mixed with 2000 kg of wheat at a moisture content at 14 percent weight basis so here is uh, we see 100 kg of paddy with moisture content 14 percent dry basis and another 2000 kg of wheat at a moisture content at 14 percent weight basis then it was again dried to moisture content of 12 percent dry basis what will be the final weight of the grain so guys uh, here is 100 kg of wheat and 2000 kg of wheat 100 kg of wheat moisture content 14 uh, percent dry basis firstly we calculate uh, the solid matter from 100 kg of wheat then we again um, calculate solid matter from 2000 kg of wheat then uh, this uh, both solid matter we mixed we add and then we will calculate this solid matter with the moisture content of 12 percent and after that we will get our final weight of the grain so let's do the solution so wheat 100 kg with moisture content 14 percent here is given so ww plus wd that is weight of water and solid matter is 100 kg and uh, md moisture content in dry basis 14 percent that is 0.14 so we know that md is equal ww divided by wd for uh, so to solution this problem we need to add one so that uh, we can uh, get the value ww plus wd so ww plus wd is given 100 and uh, md we know the value of md is 0.14 so we can easily calculate wd so solid matter of uh, from 100 kg of wheat is 87.719 kg we get so again wheat of uh, 2000 kg with moisture content 14 percent weight basis is given so here is uh, 2000 kg means um, here's uh, so, so weight of water and uh, weight of solid 2000 kg so and uh, mw that is moisture content in weight basis 14 percent that is 0.14 so we know mw is equal on ww divided by ww plus wd so here we can easily get the value w ww 280 kg and after that we can subtract the value from ww plus wd then we can easily get wd so wd is equal 2000 uh, minus 280 then we get the solid matter from uh, 2000 kg of uh, wheat 1720 kg then the wheat of 100 kg and 2000 uh, kg mixed uh, and again dried with the moisture content 12 percent dry basis that means uh, we saw the total solid matter um, uh, 87.719 plus 1720 kg then uh, we get 1807.719 kg so this solid matter again dried with a moisture content again dried with a moisture content of 12 percent dry basis so 12 percent dry basis so if we uh, then that means uh, md is equal 0 0.12 and uh, solid matter that is uh, wd is uh, equal 1807.719 kg that means MD, md is equal ww divided by wd we know that and then we can uh, get the value wd is equal 216.926 kg then final weight of the grain is ww plus wd ww plus wd that means uh, uh, w uh, wd is equal we know uh, 1807.719 kg and w uh, ww is equal 216.926 then we can get the final weight of the grain is 
2024.64 kg. It is the final weight of the grain after after mixed the 100 kg of wheat and 2000 kg of wheat. So this is the answer of this math. Now we are gonna solve another math. So here is the another math. So I to read the math. 10 tons of uh, rice is dried from an initial moisture content of 22% to 12% weight basis in a batch dryer using diesel fuel. So 10 tons that means uh, WW plus WD is given 10 tons of rice is dried that means uh, dried to a moisture content 12, uh, 22% that was and then it uh, uh, dried to a moisture content 12% in a batch dryer using diesel fuel so how much diesel fuel is needed cost of the drying per kg use latent heat of vaporization of moisture 10 megajoule per kilogram heating value of diesel 42.7 megajoule per liter and price of the diesel is 80 taka per liter in bangladesh so we uh, 10 tons that means WW plus WD weight of water and weight of solid is given 10 tons that means 10,000 kg and uh, MW it was 22 percent then uh, MW is equal moisture content in weight basis MW is equal to 22 percent 22 percent that means 0.22 we know MW is equal to WW divided by WW plus WD so here we can easily solve this math WW we can get the value after putting this to value in this then we get WD is equal 7800 kg okay so WW we get 2200 kg and again the paddy is a dried 22 percent moisture content to 12 percent moisture content and weight basis so now paddy is dried to 12 percent moisture content so what is the value of ww and uh, wd uh, after 12 percent uh, moisture content in weight basis so mw is uh, 0.12 so we can get the value uh, so we can convert the value of mw is equal to md by this uh, equation so md is equal mw divided by 1 minus M, uh, mw so we can uh, put the value and then we can get md is equal to 0 0.136 so we know md is equal ww divided by wd so we can um, get the value ww is equal md that is we uh, get and uh, uh, wd that is solid matter solid matter we uh, uh, obtained from 10 tons of paddy so we can easily calculate ww so moisture removal so firstly the moisture was that means the water was uh, uh, in uh, 10 tons of paddy 10 tons of paddy uh, was uh, uh, 22 100 2200 kg uh, of moisture uh, was in uh, 10 tons of paddy then uh, after drying after drying the moisture is uh, moisture we get uh, uh, 1063.63 kg so what is the uh, moisture removal moisture removal uh, 2200 uh, minus 1063.63 kg that means uh, we get 1136.337 kg so this is the moisture removal moisture the moisture is removal so uh, what is the uh, latent heat required to remove this moisture so uh, in math we see that uh, here is given 10 megajoule uh, required per kg for 1 kg 10 megajoule uh, latent heat uh, vaporization of moisture is required so uh, for uh, 
11 hundred thirty six point three seven kg latent heat required is ato 1100 uh, uh, sorry 11363.7 megajoule so diesel required here is uh, again given we see that uh, heating value of diesel diesel required 42.7 megajoule per liter every liter every liter is required uh, for uh, 42.7 megajoule heat so so diesel required 11363.7 uh, divided by 42.7 then we can get the diesel required diesel 266.12 liter so every liter um, the diesel cost is 80 taka so the total drying cost is 21290.17 taka so cost of drying per kg 10000 uh, this uh, uh, total uh, drying cost is divided by uh, 10000 then we can uh, get 2.129 taka so this is our answer and this is our answer diesel required 266.12 liter and cost of drying per kilo uh, kilogram is 2.129 kg so this is our uh, math okay guys bye bye